the Toronto Blue Jays had an extensive shopping list heading into this trade deadline period, and they've paid a steep price in order to get it done. However, it appears that general manager Alex Anthropolis has landed a major coup in acquiring both David Price and Troy Tulewinski, respectively. However, will it be enough to push this 500 team into the playoffs and end the longest postseason drought in all of professional baseball? Ben Nicholson-Smith, a baseball writer and sports analyst for Sportsnet, joined me this afternoon to dive into everything relating to the Blue Jays' recent trade deadline activity. Okay, so first of all, Ben, uh, we welcome you uh, to the uh, Two Man Advantage podcast and want to uh, thank you for uh, taking time to uh, join us this afternoon. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. So, uh, obviously, the Blue Jays have been busy. Alex and Thopperless is cl- uh, clearly going for getting rid of some of the Blue Jays' top prospects in order to acquire uh, David Price and Troy Tulowitzki all at the same time. So, can you tell me about your initial impressions of, of the trade itself? and whether you think uh, these moves will mortgage their uh, future going forward. Well, they gave up a lot to acquire Tulowitzki and Price. There's no question about that. I think that Jeff Hoffman and Daniel Norris, the two headlining prospects in the deals that brought Tulowitzki and Price, are both really well regarded. I think that it's safe to say they both have a chance to pitch at the top of a big league rotation in the future. So anytime you're giving up that kind of talent, there's no question that it's a tough move for a team to make. But the Blue Jays wanted to upgrade their pitching staff. They wanted to go out there and make sure that they had as much offense as possible. And in Tulewitzki and Price, they really did acquire two of the premier players in baseball. And what do you think, obviously, the uh, Blue Jays have one of the best offensive lineups in uh, the majors. In fact, they have the best statistically. So what do you think Price does for the rotation, and what does Tula Whiskey do for their lineup as a whole? Well, Price gives them a legitimate number one starter, and that's something that they really haven't had since Roy Halladay was here in Toronto. So that's going to be a huge upgrade for a rotation that really did need one. They were really struggling to get consistent production from their starting rotation. And by adding David Price, they addressed their biggest need. And Troy Tulewitzki is an interesting one because they didn't really need offense, but he is going to upgrade for them. And he's going to be that type of middle of the order bat. It's usually very tough to acquire at any time in the year. And in terms of uh, dollars and cents, obviously Troy Tulewitzki is still owed a hundred million dollars or north of a hundred million dollars over the next five seasons and obviously uh price is a free agent at season's end so how do you think those moves will affect uh the blue jays moving forward in terms of either either locking up other players or locking up price uh at season's end yeah it's a great question and it's really going to be one that we probably have to wait a few months or maybe even longer to know what the real answer is. But my guess at this point would be that the Blue Jays are very interested in keeping Price around long term. He's a guy who really uh, has excelled at every stop of his major league career, and he would fit nicely in any rotation. As for Tulewitzki, it's funny because even though he's very highly paid, Jose Reyes was going to make upwards of $20 million this season. And so their salaries line up in such a way that the impact of adding to Lewitsky doesn't actually have as much of an effect as you might initially get. And in terms of the Jose Reyes era, obviously came uh, with uh, high fanfare from Miami, but his defensive shortcomings played a role in his overall production along with his history of injuries. So can you just for me uh, put a cap on the Jose Reyes era, if you could? 
Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, on a, on a personal note, I, I thought that Jose Reyes was always a very positive guy, someone who, from a media standpoint, was really great to deal with. And, and I think that more objectively, looking at him as a player, he did have his struggles on defense. There's no question there. But I think that overall, you look at what he brought the Blue Jays on the bases and even with his bat, compared to the average shortstop in Major League Baseball, which is really not an offensive position at all, you look at the kind of impact that Jose Reyes had, and it's pretty impressive. So I think that he's going to do well wherever he ends up playing, whether that's in Colorado or somewhere else. But certainly he did his part in Toronto. Now, as we wrap this up, could you tell me whether you think that these moves the Blue Jays have made uh, will make them a playoff team? I know that they're a 500 team now, and I think they're fourth in the wild card standing. So how do you think these moves will propel the Blue Jays in the standings? You know, it's, a, it's such a good question, and that's what the Blue Jays have to wrestle with. On the surface, they are a 500 team. That's pretty ordinary, pretty unspectacular. But at the same time, they believe that they're better than what they've shown, and they believe that with the additions of Troy Tulowitzki and David Price, they're going to be able to play at a much better level from here on, and that that's going to be enough for them to make the playoffs in an American league that at this point doesn't really feature a whole lot of overwhelming teams. So the opportunity's there, and now we'll see in the next 60 games whether the Blue Jays are able to take advantage of it. Well, Ben, we want to thank you for your time this afternoon and for for providing your insight to us on the latest moves of the uh, Blue Jays uh, as the, they uh, look to uh, go for a pennant race uh, this fall. It's my pleasure. Thanks very much for inviting me on. It's uh, been fun to talk Blue Jays, and best of luck uh, the rest of the way and following what I'm sure will be a, a busy stretch leading up to the deadline itself. Busy and exciting, absolutely. Thanks, Ben, for your time, and have a great day. You too. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye-bye.